One evening in Barbie's dream house. Surprise! It's Midge, Mattel's marvelous new teenage doll. Midge is Barbie's best friend and is thrilled with Barbie's career as a teenage model. Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. My name is Joey and today we are going to be talking about Barbie's very first best friend, the controversial queen herself, Midge. Here she is. This is the only Midge doll I have at my flat, all the others are at my parents' house. Midge's full name is Margaret Hadley Sherwood. And this year she is celebrating her 60th anniversary. She came out 60 years ago as of the recording of this video, which is in 2023. And she has had a very controversial history with lots of ups and downs, and we are going to be talking about all of it in chronological order today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love dolls and Barbie as much as I do, and also let me know in the comments what you think of the amazing Midge. Also don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok for more doll content, but anyway, Let's get on with the video. Throughout history, Midge has always been a bit of a lightning rod for controversy to offset any complaints Barbie might be getting. And her very inception was no different. Midge was originally introduced in 1963, and there were three different variants of the doll. There was a brunette doll, a red-headed doll, and a blonde, kind of strawberry blonde doll, and they all came with different coloured swimsuits. Midge is most commonly characterised as having red hair and freckles. Now, the reason why Midge was introduced is quite interesting. See, Barbie had only been around for about three to four years, and she'd already garnered quite a lot of controversy, quite a lot of complaints, because people said she looked too mature. So Mattel introduced Midge into the line to kind of offset these complaints and introduce a character into the line which had a more youthful look, a more childlike look. They gave her much bigger, rounder eyes, a rounder face, with more cutesy hairstyles and clothes. But of course, Midge and Barbie had the same body so they could still change clothes and swap clothes. Midge was also introduced at the same time as Skipper, Barbie's younger sister. Skipper was obviously another attempt to bring some youth uh, to the line to offset some of that controversy. Now back in the day when dolls came out they would normally just make one basic doll in a swimsuit and then loads of fashion packs. You wouldn't really buy loads of different individual dolls but there were quite a few different Midge dolls that were made and packaged in different ways. Here you can see loads of different gift sets with extra clothes and gift sets with Barbie and Ken, and even one with Skipper as well. Alan, Midge's boyfriend, was introduced in 1964, so the year after Midge, and he also has a slightly more cutesy, youthful face than Ken does, or Barbie. He was Midge's boyfriend, but he was actually introduced as Ken's buddy, it says on the box. He's Ken's buddy. Next, in 1965, Barbie introduced a line of dolls with bendable legs, with these kind of bend and snap legs. I love these legs. I love the rubbery, bendable legs. They're just great. But anyway, these dolls were introduced in 1965, and of course there was a Midge introduced with bendable legs. She again came with three different hair colours, and there was also a Allen doll introduced with bendable legs. After that, there were no new Midge dolls made, and in 1967 she was even discontinued. And in 1969, she was basically kind of replaced with the character of PJ. PJ had a slightly more groovy, modern, for the time, look. PJ used the same face mould as Midge, so not only did she steal Midge's best friend, but she stole her face. Now, Midge was unfortunately not seen again until 1987, when she was reintroduced in the California Dreams Barbie line. And after that, she became a pretty frequent, recurring character in the Barbie line. The California Dreams, Midge reused the Steffi face sculpt. Steffi was a very short-lived Barbie best friend character from the 70s. But most of the Midge dolls reused the face sculpt from the Diva doll. The Diva face sculpt had only been used before in the Barbie and the Rockers line of dolls. But this face became Midge's face. <laughs> Here are some of the other glorious Midge dolls which came out towards the end of the 80s and the beginning of the 90s. I absolutely love the Barbie and the Beat Midge doll. She's stunning, this Midge doll. She's beautiful. After being reintroduced into the line, Midge didn't get very long to enjoy being single and ready to mingle because in 1991, it was time for her to get married. Wedding day Midge is getting married. Cool. Best friend Barbie helps her dress. Does she look fab? Oh, yes. Wedding day Midge. 
Here's your big moment. Do you take Alan? I do. <gasps> Mattel introduced a whole line of dolls celebrating Midge's wedding. You could even buy a chapel. <laughs> you could buy all the dolls from the line in one big gift set, which honestly is on my like holy grail list of doll sets. I really, really want this doll set. But anyway, you could buy them in the doll set, or you could also buy all these dolls individually. And Midge even came with a second outfit, which was meant to be her honeymoon outfit. <laughs> and in this line, Alan, of course, made an appearance, this time as Midge's husband, instead of just her boyfriend. And funnily enough, he's actually spelling his name differently here. There's only one L instead of two. Alan had a brand new face sculpt for this line, which would after this become Ken's face sculpt which was kind of interesting. And also I think this is why Alan didn't continue in the line because they just wanted to like reuse his head on Ken. There was also a whole line of Midge wedding party fashion packs. And this one here, where it's like her bedroom lingerie, probably for like her wedding night. I I'm surprised this didn't spark some controversy. It's quite racy <laughs> considering this is all celebrating her wedding. Interestingly enough, Mattel actually considered continuing this line. In 1991, there was even a promotional booklet which had images of Midge and Alan and their two twin babies, which was planned to become a playset, but the playset was never released. But don't you worry, Midge will get her family very soon. Here is a little collage of some of the Midge dolls which came out in the 90s and early 2000s. My absolute favourite Midge doll, maybe even one of my favourite dolls of all time, is the Jewel Hair Mermaid Midge. This doll is stunning. I actually have her back at my parents' house and I'm so, so glad. I love her. Fun fact, Earring Magic Midge in the US wore a yellow dress, whereas in Europe she wore a blue dress. In 1998, Midge celebrated her 35th anniversary, and Mattel brought out this adorable reproduction doll. And again, I desperately, desperately want this doll. I don't have, like, a kind of reproduction of the original Midge doll. I, I really want one, and this one is perfect. She's beautiful. I love her. Now, the controversy which Midge is probably most well known for in 2003, Mattel introduced a whole line of dolls called the Happy Family line of dolls. Happy Family, Beat Midge, Alan Bryan, so baby makes four. Happy Family, with room for one more. Dr. Barbie on call. It's a girl! And in this line, probably the main doll was a Midge doll. And this Midge doll was pregnant. She came with a little cot and a tiny, tiny little baby, and she came with a magnetic belly which would go on over the baby so she could be like pregnant with the baby, and then you could remove the belly when you were ready to act out the baby being born. Now when this doll was introduced, she got so many complaints from parents saying that it was encouraging teen pregnancy. I think a lot of the controversy is really ridiculous, if I'm honest. You know, pregnancy is perfectly natural, and around this time, Barbie and Midge's ages were kind of ambiguous. Like, she's not necessarily a teenager. I, I don't think she's a teenager. I mean, Barbie was a doctor in this line. You literally cannot physically be a teenager and be a doctor, but anyway. The complaints got so bad that the dolls were actually removed from Walmart, and later on they were reissued, but this time slightly different. Now Midge was no longer pregnant, she'd already had the baby, so it didn't come with the plastic stomach anymore. And also because a lot of parents complained about her being unmarried, they added a painted on ring onto her ring finger, and they also added in a cardboard cutout of Alan in the background of the box to show that she had a husband. These complaints are so ludicrous. Karens. That's all it is. But anyway, even though there was a lot of controversy surrounding this doll, it clearly was quite a successful line, because they came out with several waves of this line. It was really, really expansive. They had a house, a doll's house playset, they had a birthday party playset, there were grandparent dolls and grandparents' house, there was a shopping playset, there were loads and loads of different playsets to do with this doll, and of course, 
There was a Barbie doll where she was the doctor delivering the baby. And all of these dolls also had African American versions, which was the only time Midge had a African American variant. Midge would even become pregnant two more times, her first child being called Ryan, her second kid being called Nikki, and her last kid supposedly being called Cassandra. In 2005, they even came out with a next door neighbors playset, which had a whole separate family with kids to be friends with Midge's kids and a whole doll's house, and a car, and Barbie also became their teacher. <laughs> Basically, by the end, you could build a whole neighbourhood for Midge, which I think is quite a fun idea. But unfortunately, after 2005, the line was discontinued, and Midge wouldn't be seen again for quite some time. In 2013, Midge was reintroduced in an episode of the fan-favourite web series, Barbie Life in the Dream House. I actually made a whole video about Barbie Life in the Dream House, and I talk about this episode extensively, so if you want to watch that video, I'll put a link in the description and somewhere on the screen. But along with being reintroduced in the animated series, there was also, of course, a whole load of dolls, and I absolutely love these dolls. Midge has been given like a kind of vintage cottagecore aesthetic, which I absolutely love, and it looks like she once again has the Steffi face mold. Unfortunately, in 2016, when Barbie Life in the Dream House stopped being made, they basically stopped making Midge dolls as well. There were a couple of collector's edition reproduction dolls made of Midge, you can see them here. I really want this set of Barbie, Ken, Midge and Alan. That's just such a beautiful set. That's also on my Holy Grail list. And some fans believe that these two fashionistas are meant to be Midge. But I'm not sure if I believe that. I think they're just fashionistas with red hair. It's a shame that the fashionistas line doesn't name their characters. I wish they did, but anyway. Midge's little sister, Leela, would also appear in the Barbie spin-off line, We Free Friends, which involved Stacey. So there we have it, doll fans. That was the full, turbulent history of the controversial queen, Midge, Barbie's very first friend. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of Midge. Let me know what you thought of her many controversies. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And check me out on Instagram and TikTok and watch some more of my videos, doll fans. <laughs> I will see you real soon. Bye!